the recent disease that has come over at Yeluru town in Andhra Pradesh, the causes of which are yet to be determined by the experts, is an early warning system not just for the rest of the country, for the whole of the world as well. This is the result of a cumulative lapses at the regulatory level as well as a very weak regulatory system that is prevalent in the country as on date. It could have been caused by pollution in the air or in the water. Both are a possibility and especially this particular area between Krishna and West Godavari district, Yelur, Vijayawada, uh, Machili Patnam and all that is an area which is known for intensive agriculture. This intensive agriculture which was there right from the days of the Green Revolution in the 60s further is aggravated or uh, by intensive pisciculture as well which, which requires a lot of chemicals use and then all those uh, are drained into the local canals polluting the water in this area. And this could be the main reason for this particular disease which is now showing its symptoms in Elur. So if it is Elur today, tomorrow it can be Vijayawada, Machili Patnam or any other place. It all started in the 60s with our green revolution where we went in for the high yielding varieties and protect them. We started using a lot of fertilizers as well as pesticides to protect them at a large scale. And these pesticides are used very indiscriminately, second without any proper regulatory mechanism resulting in them seeping into normal life and all of us accumulating a lot of pesticide residues. In fact, in the 60s when DDT was first introduced and it was being used in a lot of rural areas, when it was sprayed in the houses, the lizards which were there in the houses eating some uh, insects and all that just fell down just like that. At that time itself, some people were remarking, I mean, if the lizards can die like that because of this, what effect it will have on the human beings. And it's only a matter of time before we realized that DDT is harmful to human beings and banned it. After it is banned, lot of other substitutes have come and lot of other research, but still most of these chemicals which are used in the pesticides are harmful to the human beings and to the overall natural environment because they are basically meant to kill the insects and others uh, which fall on the mm, uh, crops and destroy them. And the, in the process, in terms of the taste and the preferences of the consumers also, a lot of things have undergone change. In the 60s, it was not unusual to see when you buy a brinjal from the market, a lot of them with some insects inside them and it was normal, nobody really bothered about it. The grandma and others just uh, took them, cut the pot away and then made a curry out of the remaining portion. But today people want, when they think what is fresh is one which is not infested with pests at all. So to cater to this preference of the uh, consumers, the producers are using the pesticides indiscriminately and just after use immediately transporting it and selling it to the consumer because that's the only way the crop can be can reach you without any pest on it. So this type of an and, and, and earlier when you buy rice or wheat uh, a, a, a certain amount of infestation by insects was normal at home they used to ensure that it is properly segregated and then only cooking was done. Today we don't have that much of a time. So all those are also uh, uh, spread with a lot of these insecticides and then only supply to you till the last point of delivery to you which means when you buy them they are in they are fully spread with a lot of these insecticides and pesticides and with that type of a uh, situation these type of occurrences are going to recur not just in Elo, across the country and across lot of other countries where 
the regulatory mechanism is very weak and people are able to use harmful pesticides and get away with it. So this needs a two pronged approach. One strengthening of the regulatory mechanism so that this type of uh, uh, spraying of insecticides indiscriminately is not done. Second, a change in the consumer preference by proper education so that we also do not look for something which is not even invest, infested by anything which can only be done by spraying of the uh, pesticides. Especially things like PC culture where intensive activity is done where a lot of chemicals are used they are being let out into the canals and again that water is coming back into the drinking water system. And then the urban infrastructure as it is is cracking. In fact for a city of the size of Yelur which I am sure has about a population of 5 to 6 lakhs does not have an underground drainage system till today and that is not just Yelur most of the cities do not have. With that type of a creaking urban infrastructure, high use of pesticides and then location of chemical plants. Around Hyderabad where the pharma industry has grown by leaps and bounds, it has grown at the cost of the health of the local population and the underground water in those areas where these uh, industries are located has become highly polluted, not just not drinkable, not usable. So is this the price that we pay for a development and whether this type of a development is really required or is it going to be helpful to the people of uh, the country as well as for the world. I mean because these problems are not just problems confined to Andhra Pradesh or for India but for the whole of the world or the third world where regulation is a major issue and people can do these things. Uh, uh, indulge in activities which in a more developed western country the regulatory systems will not permit it to happen. So I think it is time to take this up as a wake up call and reorient our preferences as well as strengthen the regulatory system and put the required curbs and make this pollution control boards strong to question these industries so that affluents are discharged only after a proper treatment. Otherwise, the development is at the cost of our own health. Thank you. For more updates, like, comment, subscribe to our channel. Hey darlings, Gandhi click chair and much for Gandhi.